Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Is that a sparkly beard I see there? Everybody, yeah. Love it. Have a good one. See you there. Bye. Morning, everybody. Very rainy Tuesday here in Manchester in December. Just want to say a massive thank you to all my viewers who went on to Vagrant Holiday, watched his stuff, subscribed, and left a lovely message saying Charlie Veach sent me here. That made me feel very nice. So thank you, guys. Ho, ho, ho. We're here outside the Starbucks on Market Street, corner of Piccadilly. And uh, not seen either N or C, the staffers, for a few days. Other people writing to me. It's, it's amazing. It's like having my own secret agency. People writing to me. Ah, oh, Charlie, at 11 o'clock yesterday, I walked past, had a stop to look in. There's no N and there's no C. Now, whilst we're here, and I'm not going to buy a coffee from there. Of course I'm not. You know what? Sometimes you need a shock to stop your bad habits. But I made it to the top of Reddit's r forward slash public freakout. And I uh, saw the link and I was like, I'll click on this. Let's see how many lovely Redditors appreciate the, the Charlie Veach method of um, trying to be normal. Then people humiliate you and then you get your own back. And all you need to do is talk. So I thought people will understand that. Nope. It's about 400 comments. Each one hating me, like properly hating me saying I need to be deplatformed, that I'm an idiot, that I should just take it in the ass, and it uh, doesn't matter whether it's a shop staffer, a government, a policeman, a security, just take it in the ass. And uh, hundreds of comments, each one upvoted by fellow Redditors hating me. So I've discovered my platform is not Reddit. I've always been more of a 4chan kind of guy. Now. Going on 4chan is a bit like staring at the sun. If you don't put a good pair of shades on to differentiate between the bad and the good, you will get burnt. It will hurt you. You will pay a psychic price for going on 4chan. But the reason why I prefer to stare God in his grotesquely beautiful face rather than have a filtered Reddit Disneyland version of God is that I dare to see it all, all the way through from neo-Nazis all the way through the fucking serial killers, mass murderers, all the way up to the most angelic, altruistic behavior on earth. Now, if you can't handle that, you can't handle society. Maybe that's why you wear the face nappy. Maybe that's why you do as you're told. So, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Okay, we're a hot on the tail. There is a female, well, a, a police woman moving with intent. And my uh, drama senses are tingling. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I don't think we're going to get very much. Oh, here she comes. Hmm, she's now in uh, M&S searching for someone. Let's go. Can we get a shot? Oh, yeah, there's the shot. She searches, she searches. Who is she looking for? Oh, someone said they're going that way. That way. Oh, wait, hold on. Was she interacting with a cop? Yes. Follow me, she says. I'll show you where the bad guys are. Oh, she's sitting with her hands. Did she do the twirly twirly around the ear? Like, mixed up brain crazy? Was that the symbol? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sir. 
surveillance. Surveillance man. Today in the city, I um, was walking, doing my thing, and I saw, I guess you could describe him as my nemesis. He is the one that's been the most antagonistic towards me, and vice versa. He is the individual that has given me the biggest heebie-jeebies for going in the city center. So I walked past him, we avoided each other, we avoided looking at each other, and I carried on and it, it got me thinking. So I saw him again, uh, a bit further on, and I put my hand up, and uh, I walked up to him, and he was looking at me a bit confused, and I just walked up to him, put my hands out, and I put my hand forward, and I said, sorry, I'm sorry for, you know, giving you a hard time, and the things I've said to you, about you. And he just held my hand, he held my hand for a few seconds, and uh, he, we were looking at each other and he's just like me, just a bearded guy trying to make sense of his place in a sometimes disgusting world. And uh, I held his hand and I, you know, I, I saw, you know, like, I said sorry to him, and he understood, and um, he told me, you know, we said how much it meant to him, and we just, I just, we just, in a handshake, we just held each other's hand for about a minute, and I said, look, um, I'm not going to give you a hard time anymore, I'll see you around, and I just, I just want peace. And he said, me too, and and his nobility came out, you know, when you show a bit of compassion, when you treat someone like a human being and you're not running around labeling them or, or judging them. He opened up like a flower. And it was the best moment in 10 years of filming, and I didn't film it. It was a real moment, and I'm sure he won't mind me sharing this with you. You know, we, we don't realize just how disconcerting peace can be. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you've enjoyed today's slightly different video. So thanks very much. This is Charlie Veach from Rainy Dark Salford. Thanks for watching.